Secretary Gates knows that the DREAM Act is in the best interest of the defense of America. And Secretary Arne Duncan, our Education Secretary, appeared with me yesterday and said these young people who have overcome the odds and finished high school and want to go to college and be lawyers and engineers and doctors and teachers, these are the people who can build our base of success in the future. Why would we turn them away at a time when we're debating about importing talent from other countries to meet our needs in America? Why would we turn away the talent of America? We owe it to the young men and women whose lives will be affected. We owe it to America who needs their service in the military and needs their skill in building our economy to honestly address this issue and ask members of both sides to sit down, pause, and reflect as to whether or not we can afford to say to these talent, talented young men and women, there is no place in America for you. There is a place. There's a place for them as there was a place for my mother who came to this country at the age of two as an immigrant whose mother and father could barely speak the English language, but who eventually gave birth to a son who stands here today as the senator from the state of Illinois. My story is an American story. The story of these Dream Act students is an American story of fighting against the odds, of coming from other places, determined to be part of this great nation and making a contribution that makes a difference.